All right, Dad, it's going to be fight night 15. Four fights gone down, three more to go into the ring. You go and, of course, I get to uh, see Benga Denka the first call out the two boxers for the next bout of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, our fifth bout is an eight round national light welterweight challenge contest in the blue corner. Kazim Iberu Aria! And so that's the man making his way into the ring. And that's Kazim Iberu Ario. And Iberu means fear. A Yoruba language spoken in southwest of Nigeria. And we are in southwest of Nigeria, pardon, to be precise. A larger city in West Africa, as my history tells me. He, d he does look scary. Uh, 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 of course, he still looks good, but he looks scary. He looks like a mean boxer. But uh, interestingly, Fijabi has seen a whole lot of boxers as well. Come and go. Nero. And I'm not too sure whether he will be scared about seeing uh, Nero, Kiberu. When you're about to fight, the man was, that was born to fight Fijabi, <laughs> you must be scared. In the red corner, Olaide born to fight Fijabi. There you have the national lightweight weight champion as well as African champion, Olaide Fijabon Fijabi, 32 years of age, 154.40 uh, meters of height, 36 centimeters of reach, 64.7 kg in uh, weight. And now Benga will call out, of course, introduce the two boxers. Let's go back into the ring now. In the blue corner, he weighed in at 64 kilograms. He has had 13 fights, won eight, drew, lost three, three by knockout. Lost five, three by knockout. Kazim Iberu Ario. In the red corner, he weighed in at 64.7 kilograms. Is that 10 fights? One all 10. Five by knockout. Lighter, bound to fight. Fijabon! Fijabi! Our judges are Wahab Martins, Modukbe Olotu, and Shegu Adesoya. Our referee is Tola Jacobs. Hey guys, my name is Tola Jacobs. I'll be in between you for this fight. I expect a clean and professional fight. We'll be looking out for infringements and we hope you don't fall into that trap. Protect yourself at all times and obey all rules at all times. Your chief seconds have the right to throw in the towel if they need be. Lock gloves now and at the beginning of the last round. Good luck. And so we are on to this uh, tale of the tape at uh, this national lightweight weight uh, challenge contest uh, between uh, Fijabi and of course Ario. Uh, Fijabi is 32 years of age, Ario is 29, 
and of course uh, centimeters are in height at uh, 154.404 Fijabi and 162.56 for Ario and uh, 36 centimeters of uh, reach and of course Ario is uh, 32 and in weight 64.7 for uh, Fijabi and a uh, 65.8 for Ario and so Ario has had a better reach advantage and a better height advantage <laughs> But it's not uh, all that will not count as the two boxers go at each other. And let's see what reach advantage or height advantage they can bring for Rio. It's called Iberu Fear against Fijabon, the man that is born to fight. Not the best way to start the fight. But the two boxers uh, hugging and turning and turning and uh, like the guy Fijabon looks uh, quite uh, conditioned uh, for this fight. Uh, he looks like he's gained a bit of more weight as well. But he's fighting a, a quick boxer who I'm not too sure whether he will have uh, enough in his ar arsenal <laughs> to take on uh, Fijabon. You know, Fijabi, Nigeria champion, West Africa champion, and African champion. And so three belts for the man. But then it's uh, about time for him to go Commonwealth and uh, then aspire for the world. That will take some time too. And talking about going out, uh, interestingly, on same day today, 29th of uh, July 2018, one of the products, one of the uh, showcasing talents of uh, Go TV Boxing Night, Waid Skoro Usman, is out there in uh, the southern uh, part of uh, Africa, which is South Africa itself, and is fighting for. Uh, the continental belt there and if he succeeds that'll be good advertisement for Go TV Boxing Night. You're saying he's defending his African title? Yeah definitely defending his African title sorry about that uh, the same title he won uh, in a few editions of uh, the Go TV uh, fight night. Exactly and so we we'll just uh, see what will come out of that one for Skoro one of the prides of Nigeria uh, but it's not of he's not fought outside the country so it will be his first time so but this has not been a good fight as um, Kazimi Berario wrestled down his opponent Fijabi uh, this is not we know Fijabi how to start fights I like the fact that uh, fear is trying to instill fear in Fijabi and uh, the fact that he's not a respecter of the uh, massive record uh, of Fijabi and all the belts that he has gone into the ring today Now Fijabi coming out uh, with uh, some looping jabs. Uh. Ario's uh, fight style reminds you of uh, Ken Norton of the old days. Uh, you know, very restless, raising your hands up and uh, dipping your head back. <laughs> So Fijabi is using this round to test the strength of uh, his opponent. Ario, not quite uh, knowing where his corner was. He didn't take any big points to warrant that at all. I, I think he just feels that uh, let him do what he wants to do in this one. And uh, I know how to counter him when we get into the uh, second round. Second round of this scheduled eight rounds of boxing. The last time Fijabi was in it, Baden. He did uh, knock out uh, Vincent Johnson ACN. On that occasion, ACN took the fight barely two days uh, because uh, Fijabi's opponent uh, 
couldn't make it, had a slight injury. So he won against uh, Vincent. But he has returned to, he has returned to Ibadan. And uh, today he's second on Kazimi Berrario. Ijabi really taking it uh, cautiously at the start of this uh, second uh, round of the eight round contest. Uh, look at the way he's just uh, looking at his opponents. He's trying to look for a space uh, to get in there, but it's going to be difficult because uh, Ario, is, uh, his hands are very busy and uh, Ijabi trying to look for that opening. He finally gets through an, an uppercut and a right jab. Rio needs to watch it. He's, a, he's fighting a bit too uh, physical in the sense that he's trying to grab around the neck of uh, Fijabi and toss him, to, toss him around. Looks like Fijabi says that uh, this is enough. Uh, let me go at this opponent. Fijabi didn't fight and go TV fight night 14 in April. Passport in December. Finally gets him again with a, a lovely a left uppercut there after some jabs from his right hand. Gradually getting his way into this uh, fight. here is that uh, Kazim uh, is not trying to work Fijabi at all he's allowing Fijabi to spend all the time to look for the opening and he is getting it he knows how tricky uh, a fighter Fijabi is he's gonna be picking him up and uh, he, I think Kazim is just much more preoccupied about protecting his face than actually you know coming out for a fight Iberu trying to chase uh, Fijabi, uh, but that's the end of uh, the second round. Javi landing a good ride to the side of the head. Joe Mensa, the trainer of uh, Alaide Pijabi. And of course, uh, Billy Aminu is uh, the assistant. Joe Mensa, trainer of champions. Going into the third round of the scheduled eight. Once again, you see that those hands moving <laughs> never ceases to move. Uh, Kazim Iberu Ario. He should have been throwing those uh, hands to his opponent instead of just uh, moving them. Uh, that's a look good left jab from Fijabi. What a good right hook. And there you have it, Fijabi keeps scoring the points. They're coming in a bit slow, but it is, it is counting. Fijabi looks like a man in a hurry now to end it. It's not right. his opponent at all. Not yet, not yet, but he's connecting. The judges, those are the points they will be counting.
but now he rocks in. And uh, he's going for the clinch, talking about Kazin. He's rocked there. I wouldn't expect Fidabi to let him have a breather there. I would have expected him to right, go right back in it. But he's allowed him to come back and gain his composure once again. Just pushed out his opponent. That's not a knockdown. He's wasting too much time complaining. And even the, the corner of um, Iberu is not happy with that. Take another look at that. But he sent a one across and then wrestled the man down. I, I think you, the can't, order. you can't really blame Fijabi in that situation because yeah. Kazim put his hands around and the neck stuck. of um, uh, Fijabi. And Fijabi feels, I don't, I don't need a clinch right now. And uh, I think he was in the process of trying to shove him away uh, that the boxer went down. Fijabi collecting some shots there, but they're not really getting through. Now Fijabi wants to end this one. That's another wrestling. And that's Arillo also holding around the neck of Fijabi once again. And Fijabi doesn't seem to be happy about that. And you can see uh, Tola, the referee Tola there, really having words with uh, Arillo. Fijabi now with that... Um Goatee. That's new. That's very new. <laughs> it's actually a great goatee. Mm. You see the eyes of the tiger and Fijabi. End of the round. And, uh, some officials of Go TV there uh, talking about uh, marketing manager of multi-choice there uh be a marketing manager go tv right be the walk away and a few of his other colleagues and you can see uh, fijabi connecting three good punches there and uh, following it up with uh, a body punch of fijabi's fans uh, dressed in the uh, cream and uh, blue strip here round this is a halfway mark of this uh, scheduled eight round the referee not ready the two boxers are almost um, starting the fight on their own the referee taking it upon himself to mop the gray areas wet areas of the ring, of the canvas. Uh, Kazim cuts the picture of a man who's a bit distracted in this fight. I don't know what it is. Uh, we just saw the referee there try to get his attention. I had to clap a few times before to tell him I'm actually talk talking to you here. His mind far away. It should but be here. Not, not, not good enough for you. Uh, fighting an opponent like uh, Alajide Fijabi should uh, pay close attention to your opponent and all attention focused at your opponent. He's not attacking Fijabi, that's the problem with him. And Fijabi is quite comfortable with this because he's actually he's dictating the pace of the fight. He's actually going at him when he wants to and when he wants to take a breather he's taking his breather problem is Ari you shouldn't be giving them the chance to take the breather should always be in his face trying to be getting jabs in we talked about him using his hands a lot but they, they, they're doing more of a dancing around the face of himself rather than actually uh, scoring points on, on the face of his opponent when many fight fans have saw this oh that's a good right from Iberu Ari that one actually kept Fijabi at bay. Good right from Alaide Fijabi. That, that could be a prospect, uh, prospective uh, strategy for Fijabi. It does look like a, 
Arrio is protecting his face very well, so maybe uh, uh, Olajide should just try and uh, go for body shots and try and unlock that uh, good uh, guard that he's put up on his face. And Iberu, a very busy boxer. When he's not throwing the punches, his hand movement and his defense is always on. When many fight fans have saw this um, challenge, uh, they thought it wouldn't last four rounds. But we're in the fourth round and going with uh, 45 seconds left of the fourth round. And still, Fijabi <laughs> taunting his opponent there, and uh, Ario didn't, fi didn't, didn't, didn't find that easy at all. Ario, give it to him. He vets the punches. But even though when he's not evading the punches, the punches are not uh, getting uh, as close as to him. It means uh, Fijabi not timing at all. At all. It's not timing it very well at all. It's too much of energy coming from Ario without any end product to it. End of the fourth round of this scheduled eight. Three more rounds to go after this, and uh, we will go. We will go the whole distance. It hasn't been as explosive as we would have expected uh, from Fijabi. His lights last time out, uh, and the first time for Go TV in the battle was an explosive one for him. And we just saw the highlights of it before this fight came up, and uh, this is nowhere near uh, that performance. Kazim Ibero hasn't really instilled uh, any sort of fear in Fijabi. He blocks that down. Fijabi tries to go for body punches, which is what I would advise him to do. He probably should have should go more for body punches, try and open up a vista for himself. Jabi still can't find a way in, and uh, Rio himself goes for a few jabs. I uh, think scored him. Still, so much work from the hands dancing around his own head, but we are not seeing a lot more of that hand. And he gets in there with a good right. Kazim. Bit of a pity patch, a point from Pijabi there. Sometimes you see just some unbelievable fighter from Pijabi, not uh, living up to the billing. And so far, he has not really, really uh, lived up to his billing in this fight. Well, I think kudos has to be given to uh, Kazimi Beru. Not so much for uh, hitting or 
attacking uh, the Jabi, but he has tried to seriously defend against a man who is a very formidable opponent. So much of sizing up, even in the fifth round. Jabi taunts his opponent there, keeps taunting him. And there you go, that has been a very uneventful round. Probably the most un uneventful round I have seen in this fight. The fight itself, the fight itself has been uneventful so far. We've seen five rounds gone by, and we're expecting the sixth round. Back again, if you're just joining us, uh, it is the indoor sports hall of the Obafemi Awolowo Stadium in Ibadan, southwest of Nigeria. And that's where the live action is reaching the boxing action. Go TV Boxing Fight Night 15. Of course, the series is making its uh, second appearance in this ancient city. Interestingly, the sponsors, Go TV, are also using it as a, one of uh, events uh, to mark the 10th year anniversary of Go TV in Nigeria. going for body punches, manages to get through with a, a right hook there. And uh, Akim making fun of Fijadi, saying, uh, acting like he was rocked by the uh, body punch there. The last time we talked about uh, Sporo, uh, Sporo Usman is actually fighting for the vacant International Boxing Federation Continental Africa Super Federalweight title right there in South Africa. And it's a fighting. That opponent, Azinga Fuzile. We expect that to come out and we expect our man to win. Hopefully. But here, let's fight. We thought we've seen uh, the worst fight of the night in the second bout and no contest. Uh, but this one really not living up to expectation. And some of the fans are uh, really, really disappointed, especially in Olaide uh, Fijabi. They're trying to uh, ginger him like, we want, like the word we use in Nigeria. Try to ginger him here. But it, Uh, once again, Fijabi uh, trying to shake off. Uh, and you can see the picture of some of the fans there, not very impressed with what they have seen so far. And, and that round has gone once again very uneventful. Especially the fans of uh, Fijabi. Uh, some of them are wearing long faces. Uh, they are not uh, quite uh, satisfied uh, with what uh, they are seeing. But they can still do with some dance this year and there. 
to Mensa. He must be disappointed too. And it's drumming it into the ear of um, Bijabi that he must go out there and do his thing. Do as I tell you. Go out there and fight as I've taught you. And the, uh, the truth is, yes, Bijabi has this fight in the bag. But the fans want to see more. They want to see what Bijabi is all about. He has controlled this fight. And uh, his opponent, Kazim Ario, has not really landed a lot of telling punches here. But we want to see a Fijabi that we are, we are used to seeing. And that's what the fans want as well. Seventh round. Penultimate round of scheduled eight. And Ario is still standing toe to toe with uh, Pijabi. Unexpectedly, so. Yeah, quite unexpectedly. Nobody saw this coming, but uh, that's what we have here. But Ario himself is uh, quite a, a tested boxer. 13 fights. Uh, but after losing five, you'd expect uh, Pijabi to uh, give him. A, a, a beat in here. He Very close records of the two boxers at uh, three fights. Uh, Pijabi is ahead of Pijabi with three fights, so he's more experienced, uh, just like um, uh, you've said, uh, Nero. But nevertheless, uh, um, Pijabi has an unblemished uh, record of 10 wins out of 10. And of course, uh, it's been a wonderful uh, knockout artist, too. Pijabi tried uh, there to open him up, but he seems to always back off every time he has a chance uh, to do something. As you can see there, Pijabi with five knockouts. Inclusive and exclusive to him and the ten wins. He's undefeated. And he wants to keep it that way. He will surely keep it that way at the end of the fight. Uh, with a unanimous decision uh, but nevertheless uh, the fans will always say we expected more from him absolutely now you can see maybe this is when Fijabi needs to explore those hands that were dancing around the face uh, earlier on obviously tiredness and uh, a weariness setting in His, those hands are not moving as quickly as it, it, it used to before maybe just maybe Fijabi can I uh, put it in the mix and just uh, go for body punches a bit and distract uh, his opponent? But I have it, the two of them uh, in the center of the ring now. Pijabi landing uh, right and then he stopped again, but then he's continuing now uh, trying to both. Uh, Iberu fights his way uh, with a body shot. More like a swing that landed to the stomach of Pijabi. Than an, aim, that, uh, than an aimed punch. Pijabi's fans still expect that of something big in this one. Uh, but I know the, the fans of um, Joe Boy showing this opponent and himself face to face. That's the main event of the night we expected. But before that, we will have one of the two international challenge contests. Frank Juan Bogbe of the Benin Republic will be taking on Akim Dodo Sadiku. And Dodo, man, as a boxer, you don't want to go close to. <laughs> Plus, he's, he's also big on the Ibado fans here. He's based here. And of course, that's it there on the screen. Otto Joe Boy Joseph versus Nathaniel Nukbe. And Otto's fans are saying he ain't got no chance. And they are saying, bring it on. I think if you give them the chance, they will drag these two boxers out of the ring to bring in uh, Joe Boy. I bet you. And his opponent. Uh, Fijabi looking, looking, uh, not uh, that Fijabi we've seen in all his 10 fights. Uh, he's looking tired. He's looking fagged out. But then he will continue. That's Easter final round of scheduled eight Iberu Ario now 
Kiki Jabi. They're trying to corner his opponent. He did that at the force. They tried four air punches uh, from uh, Pijabi. And he, he will count one or two landing there. But nevertheless, uh, his opponent is a very, very stubborn boxer, I must say. Uh, other, other guys would have uh, taken a fall for that, but uh, got himself very, very well guarded and uh, staved off all those uh, foray from uh, Pijabi. Oh, Pijabi has not been clinical tonight. He's not been decisive. He's not been uh, precise as uh, the Pijabi, the African champion that we know probably um, lack of action in the past uh, couple of months uh, must have done him no good. And once you hear that blaring of that horn, I think it's a sign of disappointment from the fans. Exactly. They want more, and that's why you see them. <laughs> well, how much more would the fans want? <laughs> Better with uh, a left. No follow up from Pijabi. A left hook from him. And uh, that's not legal at all. How can you be holding your opponent and, of course, uh, hitting him? The referee gave uh, Pijabi a warning there. Pijabi looking to end this one on a high and he's uh, trying to frustrate his opponent there. And the problem, uh, my, my, my problem with... Uh, uh, Kazim is he's not protecting himself. Whenever you go for a clinch, try and uh, use your hand to cover your face. And he's leaving it out there. And uh, this is real taunting here. Hijabi showing Ario the grey beard, so to speak, telling him this is experience. Alright, well, Hijabi. I think he got this one uh, once again. He got it. Ario uh, not uh, quite given enough. I, I, I think it's a comfortable victory for him, uh, but it, it could have done more. Like you said, he wasn't clinical at all. Uh, there were times when uh, his opponent uh, was wide open for him, but it, it was too much in a hurry, and he was too flippant with the way he was going about it. He got in quite a few punches in here, but it wasn't as... The ratio that he got in compared to how many he landed was very poor. Two more fights on this Go TV fight night. 15. There will be the next two fights will be international challenge contest and of course the ABU title defense. Let's go into the ring for the official decision of the last fight between Alaide Fijabi and Iberu Ario. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the results. George won. Scores it 79-74. George two scores it 80-74. George three scores it 79-74. Seventy-three. Winner. 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 By unanimous decision. Olaide. Bound to fight! Fija Bo, Fija B!
no contest, no contest about the winner of that uh, fight. Uh, but it's just that uh, not much. A little, lot more was expected from the winner, Olaide Fijabi Fijabon, national champion, West African champion, and the African Boxing Union champion. Fans are not especially uh, excited about this. Uh, it's a boxer that we know uh, what he can deliver on the night. And uh, this is not definitely not one of his best showings at all. Olaide Fijabi. The winner by unanimous decision, making his way out of the arena now. Fantastic uh, time we're having here at the Indoor Sports Hall of the Obafemi Awolowo Stadium. The fans are happy and expecting the international challenge contest that will be between Frank Juan Bogbe and Akim Dodo Sadiku. Sadiku is a local boy. His last fight was when he knocked out his opponent in round one right here in Ibadan. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, that's been a long time for him. Definitely. And uh, I, I love these two fights that we're expecting. The last one and uh, the penultimate fight. Joe Boy, the penultimate one. Dodo, a massively popular boxer as well, coming up against foreign opposition. It will be nice to see what these Nigerian boxers can do.